Hey, how's it going, guys? So we're here checking out some more Mass Effect uh, content. If you're new channel, welcome. So um, someone in the comment section, unfortunately, I didn't reply. <laughs> uh, did mention something about like, um, you should check out some DLC trailers. And I was like, all oh, right, uh, Mass Effect would have some DLCs. And I took a look and um, the Legendary Edition does come with DLCs. But the thing is, they're only for Mass Effect 2 and 3. I can't find anything for Mass Effect 1. So I won't even know what these DLCs are until I start 2 and 3. But um, doing a little bit more uh, research, I did find 6 DLCs. And I have them labeled. 3 of them are with Mass Effect 2 and the other 3 are with Mass Effect 3. So the Mass Effect 2 ones, uh, I'm going to watch them in this order by the way. It is the official Arrival DLC trailer and the Overlord DLC trailer and the Lair of the Shadow Broker DLC trailer. And for Mass Effect 3, it is the C uh, Citadel DLC trailer, uh, the Resurgence trailer, and also some sort of um, Retaliation trailer or something like that. Oh, uh, wait. Is it, does that say Retaliation? Yeah, yeah, yeah it says Retaliation. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I read it wrong. I was like, wait, what does that say? <laughs> But either way, uh, those are the ones I'm going to be checking out. And um, I believe... Wait. Did I miss one? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, no. Never mind. Um, looks like that is all of them. Wait, is there a Leviathan? DLC? Uh, Leviathan DLC trailer. Oh, there is a Leviathan DLC trailer. Oh, man. I, okay, I gotta add that one in there. So I'm sorry about that, guys. But yeah, it looks like there is a Leviathan uh, DLC trailer. And it looks like all of them are barely about like two minutes long, give or take. So we're gonna still take a look into those. So without anything else, let's just jump into it. Rated M, of course. If there's romances, there's a lot of blood, there's a lot of fighting, so it better be rated M. Shepard. You fight against inevitability. Your species will fall. Dr. Amanda Kenson found evidence of an imminent rapier invasion. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. Warning. Collision imminent. Get us out of here, Joker. The Reapers will be arriving in the system. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the that galaxy. That looks like the Doctor. You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? Prepare yourselves for the arrival. Okay, wow. Okay, so that was the Mass Effect 2 official Arrival DLC trailer. By the way, before I forget, I just want to say if there are any spoilers in these DLC trailers, it wouldn't really matter because the thing is, since there's going to be some time a gap between uh, me playing uh, the first Mass Effect and playing the second Mass Effect, I probably won't even remember any of this, so it's probably going to be like, I'm going to watch it again for the first time when I play them. So now we're going to head into the second Mass Effect DLC, uh, Mass Effect 2 DLC, which is called Overlord. Uh, are you receiving this? Commander Shepard, this is Dr. Archer. Please respond. Is that God you came? My name is Dr. Gavin Archer. The situation is urgent. We're facing a catastrophic VI Whoa, breakout. what happened here? Tell me more about Project Overlord. You owe us that explanation. Oh, it's a this project. This is Project Overlord. An attempt to gain influence over the Geth by interfacing a human mind with a VI. He's like a virus now. Infecting our networks and seizing control of any technology he finds. Hey, there's What's Garrus. The case scenario? A technological apocalypse. Every machine, every weapon, every computer could be turned against us. Bro, that's crazy. Oh, there's a new vehicle. Any war we 
Stop the rise of the gun. I was asked to find a way to avoid that. Five action packed areas. Okay. Wow. This is a hybrid intelligence the likes of which I've never seen. All right, so it looks like this one is a project and they were trying to combine a human mind with um, the synthetic so that way they can control the geth. But unfortunately, it looks like they created some sort of very powerful AI. And what I saw from this one is you get to control a different vehicle besides the Mako. So it looks like there were there are a lot of improvements between uh, Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2, which it is amazing to see because that's pretty much the purpose of every single game. If it's part of a franchise, each one each new game is supposed to improve upon the last one. Now let's see, this is the last Mass Effect 2 DLC and this one's called Lair of the Shadow Broker. And judging by the word broker and shadow broker, uh, I know brokers like, uh, if, I, if I'm guessing this correctly, because in um, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the broker, the power broker was like a shadowy figure that deals in uh, deals and trades and um, businesses so I'm guessing this is what it is the shadow broker is probably like a shadowy figure that deals in a lot of um, businesses backroom deals and underground uh, contracts things like that that's my guess before we jump into this so without anything else let's jump into layer of the shadow broker All the are the same since I came back, Liara. What do you want me to say, Shepard? I've spent two years plotting revenge. I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. Dangerous enemy to have. Cerberus gave me data on where to find him. Interested? How big is the trouble that could come out of this? Someone tried to kill your friend, Commander Shepard. The Shadow Broker has been in power for decades. He's stronger than anything you've ever faced. You have any idea oh, that's what your so terrorist cool. friends have done? Get in, get out. Liara's in there! Kill anyone who tries to stop us. That is cool. In my opinion, out of all three DLCs, I really like th that one the most, Lair of the Shadow Broker. So it looks like that is really heavily based on Liara. It looks like she has maybe a past connection with the Shadow Broker. Maybe she knows who's, who it is because it looks like she's the one being targeted. Now we uh, took care of Mass Effect 2. Now we're going to jump into Mass Effect 3. The first one we're going to watch is Mass Effect 3, the Citadel DLC. So without anything else, let's jump into the Citadel. <coughs> Partial nudity. I'm all for it. Oh, I almost hit the mic off. Shepard, you need a place that's yours. Somewhere to recharge. Clear your head. That's very generous. Oh, that's Captain it's Anderson. We need you in the best shape possible. Rested. Focus. This is urgent. There are people trying to kill you. <laughs> yeah, I think he's aware of that. I mean other people. New people. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's Whoa, who are they? is brought to you by random acts of violence. Joker. Nice. Shepard. Another day at the office. You could say that. Okay, what the hell's going on, Commander? Let's figure out who they are and shut them down. What about the rest of the crew? All hands on deck for this one. Oh. I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a 
<laughs> You'll need to do better than that. The last guy to trash talk me was a few kilometers taller than you. I'm gonna take everything you have and everything you are. Guess we're back on the clock. Is sure leave always like this? <laughs> Go, we'll cover you. Reunite with old friends? Kaden! Ashley, on one last adventure. That was cool. Okay, everyone say Normandy. Normandy! <laughs> okay, so this DLC was a lot different compared to the last three. This one looks like instead of um, an all-out brawl or all-out war, well, it kind of was based on assassinations, it looked like it was more of bonding with your crew members and friends. And there are some familiar faces like Caden and Ashley Williams and Garrus, and I th think I saw uh, Liara and Rex, but some of them are new faces, so I'm guessing you're going to get more companions in Mass Effect 2 and 3. But that's what I'm guess. Uh, that's what I'm getting. And he says, uh, Captain Anderson said you need a place of your own, things like that. So I'm guessing we're gonna have our own personal headquarters or our own place to live on the Citadel. So it looks like the Citadel is gonna be the setting, and I guess teamwork and bonding is gonna be the main focus of the of this DLC. But we'll see how it goes. Now the next one is called Resurgence, and let's see what's all about. Okay, the resurgence. Oh, it's a multiplayer pack. <laughs> New characters, reinforcement pack, Batarian soldier, Geth infiltrator. Oh, that's cool. Geth engineer. Turn sentinel. Sorry, just the car? Adept? Krogan Vanguard. Whoa! Hydra, new map. So it's like new maps and characters you get to play in the multiplayer. Condor. Do weapons, of course. Striker assault rifle. Death plasma SMG. Shock harpoon gun. Damn. Or 75 perfect scores. Oh, no additional cost? That's cool. Alright, so this wasn't... Uh, it looks like it's not a store DLC. It's more of a multiplayer pack DLC. And the next one is called Retaliation Trailer. But it's also... It's labeled as multiplayer. So it looks like Mass Effect 3 kind of uh, focused more on multiplayer rather than the story from what I'm seeing. But it looks like there's still a story based on the Citadel DLC. So, without anything else, let's jump into Retaliation. Voice sounds cool. They struggle in vain, trusting in numbers to store. What is that? Is that a zombie? Like every cycle before, they will resist. Oh, husks. And now they will understand the full extent of our superiority. New weapons, new characters, Succumb and ascend. 
Is that a reaper? Wow, okay. Now this now we have one more video because I just realized there was another Mass Effect 3 DLC and I forgot to add it to my list, but this one is called the Mass Effect 3 Leviathan DLC trailer. Now, unlike Resurgence and Retaliation, it doesn't say anything about it being a multiplayer, so maybe this is a story DLC, who knows. But so far, all these DLCs look amazing, but I don't know if they're really good at just showing it and it's not worth the money, but either way, it doesn't really matter because I bought the Legendary Edition and I think the DLCs were already part of it. <laughs> so without anything else, let's check out the Leviathan. Peggy 18. is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone... What is that, cave, paint, uh, cave paintings? <laughs> You're looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. I'm looking for the monster that murdered my father. Leviathan. Something is very wrong here. Doctor? Why do you pursue me? Whoa. Leviathan signal originates from this planet. There's nothing but ocean. Underwater. Hey, Garrus, right? I think. And that looks like a new character. Oh, it looks like we have an underwater mission. Leviathan. You have come too far. Okay, so yeah, that that is a story DLC mission, considering the fact that we saw Commander Shepard. But it looks like this one's gonna be focusing in uh like underwater because it looks like he jumped into a mechanized suit and jumped into the ocean, or maybe a water planet, who knows? And um, facing a massive creature that can speak in a really dark, vo uh, deep voice called the, the Leviathan. I'm really looking forward to that, but Mass Effect 2 and 3 are wilds away, but a lot of you guys have been saying, hey, I'll wait for it and all that, so I really do appreciate your patience. Now, just to be clear, I'm watching this DLC because I just played like three, well, not just, I played three uh, episodes of Mass Effect 1 already, so I get some idea on some characters in Commander Shepard and all that. But I just don't have like a lock on these DLCs because like I said, I don't know anything yet because I'm not on Deep Mass Effect 2 or 3 yet. But maybe once we reach there, all these will make sense. But either way, the DLCs look really cool. And please put down in the comments below if you guys enjoyed the DLC. Please, no spoilers. Just let me know if you enjoyed it or not. Well, besides that, that's all I got for today. So that was the Mass Effect 2 and 3 DLCs and I really enjoyed them. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the recommendation as always. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't want to drop another video. And um, I'm planning on re re releasing this uh, video tomorrow. So this should show up before the very first episode of Mass Effect 1. So you guys will see just like a few reaction videos before my gameplay videos actually come out. So I hope you do enjoy them. And because I put a lot of time and work into them. But Mass Effect 3, not 3, <laughs> Mass Effect Episode 3, which I just played today, had a few technical issues. So please bear with me on that. But besides that, that's all I got. So thank you for your support. And as always, uh, please stay safe. And I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.